हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू लर्न इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सोलर नाइट वाल्व ट्रेवल शूटिंग स्टेप्स सो वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू सो डोंट डिस्किप द वीडियो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन ट्रेवल शूटिंग ऑफ सोलर नाइट वाल्व इज टू मेचर द क्वाइल रेजिस्टेंस फर्स्टली वी विल मेचर द क्वाइल रेजिस्टेंस लुक फ्रेंड्स इफ वी टॉक अबाउट सोल नाइट वाल्व सोल नाइट वाल्व कंटेंट्स मेनली टू पार्ट वन इज क्वाइल एंड अनदर वन इज वाल्व Look friends, solenoid valve coil remains in this part. So to measure the coil resistance, we will separate these two parts. To separate these two parts, we will unscrew from here, and we will also unscrew from here, and we will find this type of coil in a solenoid valve. And in this coil, we will find mainly two terminals, and these are two terminals where connections are done and these are two terminals where we will check coil resistance okay now to check coil resistance we will use a multimeter and we will set a multimeter to measure the resistance after setting the multimeter to measure the resistance we will connect the probes of multimeter at this point and at this point look friends polarity doesn't matter here so we can connect any probe to any point now we will check the coil resistance if it is ol means open loop then coil wiring is open and it is not working okay sometimes it is short circuit so in that case it is also not working so how can we recognize that coil is working okay if coil resistance comes in finite ohms such as 200 ohms 300 ohms or 500 ohms then coil is working okay if coil is not working okay we will replace the coil look friends if you want pdf for this content you can join our membership program let's move to the another step and this step is coil energize and magnet test in this step we will connect the electrical power to coil now we will perform the magnet test for that we will unscrew the coil from here and we will use a screw driver or we will use a line tester and we will insert screw driver or line tester in coil and we will feel a magnet if there is a magnet then coil is working okay if there is no magnet then coil is not working okay if coil is not working okay we will replace the coil the third step is mechanical movement or plunger check look friends if we talk about solenoid valve a plunger remains in solenoid valve when okay. we provide the electrical supply to coil then plunger moves and air flow passes and air changes from one port to another port sometimes it happens that this plunger becomes jam and the air is not changed from one port to another port in that condition we will open solenoid valve from here and we will remove its plunger and we will clean its plunger and it will working okay then friends next step is electrical supply verification now we will verify the rated electrical supply is given to solenoid valve or not look friends electrical supply is provided to solenoid valve it may be ac supply or it may be dc supply so you have to verify that rated supply is given to solenoid valve or not suppose solenoid valve rated supply is 24 volt dc supply so we cannot provide solenoid valve so we cannot provide ac supply to solenoid valve or we cannot provide 110 volt dc to solenoid valve otherwise the coil will not work so you must verify the rated supply is given to solenoid valve or not the next step is check for mechanical parts damage if we talk about solenoid valve it contains some mechanical parts like plunger spring seal and valve body look friends sometimes mechanical parts are also damaged in solenoid valves so in these parts plunger may be stuck we have discussed earlier the plunger may be stuck due to corrosion or rusting so we can clean the plunger and it will working okay sometimes spring is not working okay spring is damaged if spring is damaged then solenoid valve will not function properly it will not change air supply from one port to another port 
Sometimes seal is also damaged. We use rubber seals in solar light bulbs. Sometimes this rubber seal is damaged. So in that case, solar light bulb will not work properly. So we will check the damage for mechanical parts. It is also an important step. So this was our video. Thanks for watching the video. If you want more instrumentation videos, subscribe to our channel today. Thanks for watching the video.